this week we were in Steen Hatchie, Florida, and we're on a very familiar site here. We're rolling out here pitch black. Feels like you're in a rocket ship going to space. Oh, look at that! Woo! Woo! This is on <laughs> It's just happening nonstop. I imagine you guys get out early, but you also go in early. What's going on over there, Stephanie? Thank you. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Life by the Bow. This week we were in Steen Hatchie, Florida, mm -hmm. and we're on a very familiar site here. Yeah. I'm here with John, his son Johnny, Connor, which is the captain of the boat. And today we're on Fin Seeker Charters. Mm -hmm. They actually bought our old Contender 39 ST and they were nice enough to invite us up here to Steen Hatchie and put yeah. together a really good video. Have a really good day. So pressure's on Connor. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what you can do. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm First thing that we're going to do this morning is we're going to pull Connor's pinfish traps here. We're going to be using pinfish and thread hair and his live bait. But from where we're at right now, it's probably, I'd say, about four or five miles away from the marina, give or take. But once we get the bait out of the pinfish traps, we're going over 100 miles today. So 250 miles round trip between leaving the marina fishing and coming back. So we're definitely in for a fishing trip of a lifetime, I would say. Nice. Hey, have we put any other one yet? Yeah, you did. So, my favorite part, we got the bean bags out. <laughs> I'm gonna park my butt on one of them and we're gonna ride out for about, an, what, an hour? Keep going. <laughs> an hour and a half? Two hours. Two hours, so. I'll I'm tell you what though, this is where it's at right here. <laughs> What do you think about that right there? How does that look to you? Oh, that looks worth the two and a half hour drive that we just took. <laughs> oh yeah, that was tough. <laughs> it was so hard for her sleeping in the bean bag. <laughs> Meanwhile, me, Johnny, and Connor are up here <laughs> so excited. John got a nice little nap in too, that but. so nice. Yep, Connor took us to our first number here. We're a hundred miles offshore. What's our depth? 165. And from what you were telling me, is those are red snappers down there, right? Yeah, they're loaded down there. All right. Snapper heaven. So Connor's gonna put us to work. I'm all for it, man. Let's, Let's do it. it. This would be our first red snapper. First red snappers ever. Yeah. Come on, man. Fishing on the old boat, too? Doesn't get better than this. There we go. Let's get it, baby. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, whatever we got here, it's a good one. He's definitely gonna work me all 160 feet on the way up. Man, I gotta tell you, the fishing is just a bonus. Catching this fish is just a bonus. I mean, we're rolling out here pitch black, 55 miles an hour. It feels like you're in a rocket ship going to space. And getting on the first spot, literally five minutes in, what we got going on right now? We got a triple. I mean, I'll take it, man. Got a triple. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. nice, That's unbelievable. Look at how I have them hooked, too. Wow, oh, man. Oh, wow. What a stud right there. That is Connor. So nice. You're the man, dude. 
And so what is this right here, Connor? Is this a full grown red or they get bigger than this? They get they get quite a bit bigger than that, but that's a stud right there. Though. Wow, real man. Good, real beautiful fish, good eating. Fin Seeker Charters, baby, come out definitely, here and catch them just like us. Definitely worth a ride, wasn't it? Yeah, man, without a doubt. Hey, if this is all we catch all day, I'm a happy, happy man, but I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more than this. Me too. So while Zach and I are sitting there getting B-roll, John just brought another one up. <laughs> That's insane, man. Wow. Loading the fish boxes today, boys. Woo. All right. Stephanie, what do you think? It's fighting like a snapper. Yeah? Feels like a snapper, fights like a snapper. Hopefully it looks like one too. Yeah. This is so cool, man. I love it. This feels good to be back on the old boat. That's it's right here. Stephanie's got one. Connor's hooked up on another amber. Oh, no, he's got another red snapper, a double. Come on, son. Oh, look at that. Look at that, man. Mine's not as big. What is that? Is that a red? We'll take that, too. Nice, nice. Unbelievable, oh, that is a mangrove. Man. I was like, not expecting that. Man, it's a stud mangrove. But I mean, speaking of studs, look down at Connor's fish right now. I know. <laughs> look at that. See, this is what we're used to catching at home, and this is what we're catching out here. Yeah, or but that's still, that's still a really big mangrove snapper. But I mean, man, and what's so cool about this is Connor actually donates a lot of this fish to the elderly. And John, what's the name of the organization? Calvary Children's Home up in uh, Powder Springs, Georgia. And so John donates a lot of the fish to them as well. So none of this goes to waste. None. I got to tell you, man, I'm just enjoying all the fish being caught. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new style of fishing there. One leg over the gunnel. Woo! Woo! Well, all right, again. there it is. <laughs> this one is bigger. Wow. I didn't feel this fight before! <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. Right? Oh yeah, it is. Woohoo! What's big going fish. on over there, Stephanie? How you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to catch a bigger <laughs> snapper than you. That's so cool, man. So, where do a lot of the people that come to Stina Hatchie and fish, where do they typically come from? About us to the Macon, the Tifton, and everywhere in the southern half of Georgia. Yeah. Everyone knows the Gulf Coast is a great place to fish. So all of our Georgia and North Florida viewers, I gotta tell you, man, this is where it's at. I always say I had the perfect strength. I'm not yep. too strong. Not too not weak, too weak. Not too strong. But look at that! <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Stephanie. <laughs> That's officially my first red. First snapper. red, huh? No waste Look of meat right at there. That. Good job. Woohoo! I need a picture with this guy. Let's get one. That's so cool. Look at that. They're you coming in it? faster than we can film. Whatever. You <laughs> What's so crazy about this man, it's like whatever you're dropping down is getting bit. Like it doesn't matter if it's a jig, like you can see on this one, a dead bait, a live bait. Wow, Woo! look at that. But what's awesome is they came absolutely prepared with everything, whether it's artificial, dead, live. And that's the key, man. Some days it could be tough out here, but I don't know, Connor. Y'all are making this look really easy. Oh, oh yeah. look at that! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. This is unbelievable. Good job! <laughs> it's just happening nonstop. I imagine you guys get out early, but you also go in early. <laughs> So after all that chaos, we had to do a little bit of re-rigging, but that's perfectly fine. So that way I can show you guys exactly what we're using. Got some 80 pound braid, bimini twist, uni knot to a swivel, right? And then another uni knot to some 80 pound fluorocarbon we're using here. And this is a real simple rig. This is just called a chicken rig. And we got a single hook here. We use these down in the keys for deep dropping, but typically we have three, four hooks, but we're just doing one hook right here, and then we have a six ounce weight on the bottom. And basically, these are really, really easy to tie. This is just called a dropper loop, and this is just regular old loop. You can tie that with a loop knot right down here. So in order to tie this rig, all you need to learn how to tie is a uni knot, a dropper loop, and a loop knot, and you're good to go.
Now before we move on, I would like to introduce our Black Contour Performance Hoodies. These hoodies feature industry leading performance material on the outside, which are lined with fleece in order to stay warm. With that being said, staying comfortable is something we take very seriously. Now couple that with quality and style, you may find yourself on availgear.com. So here we go right here. What's interesting is as soon as we made the move and we set up here, Connor gave us a pretty good tip that I thought was really interesting. The last spot we were on, he was saying it was like a big six foot deep crack down there on the bottom. That's eh, it's okay. We we're, that's how you know we're fishing right there. If we're not tangled, we're not fishing. <laughs> 70's got one. them. Whatever it is, it's bigger. Doubled up. Basically, the last spot had a lot of structure, whereas here, there's not really much. It's kind of like a little rock pile. And he said, that's how you can find the groupers versus the snappers. Whenever you have really, really small rock piles, that's where the groupers like to hang out. Whereas the snappers are a little different. They like a lot of structure. I gotta say, this is a grouper. It's definitely fighting like one. Look at that! There we go. Cool, man. <laughs> Look at that! Stephanie's got a red. Woohoo! I'm really excited to see how he tastes. Another one to add to the box. Nice, man. Come on, Stephanie. We got a big one on here, boys and girls. Ah, he's fighting. He, he might have had it for a minute before you started jerking. I think so. It's, this is almost fighting a little different, though, man. It's pulling some drag on Oh, you. that's a big one. It's feeling like a grouper. Oh, trigger fish. That's a massive trigger. Phew. I'll still take that, though. It is a delicious eating fish right there. Wow, man, that's definitely the biggest trigger fish I've ever caught before. Not a lot of people keep them just because they have really tough skin, but these have become a pretty big delicacy for us, especially when we're over in the Bahamas and we just want to spear fish real quick and we want something good to eat. Trigger fish is that go-to, man. What's interesting about a trigger fish too, if you notice, look at how tiny his gill is right there versus a fish where it comes all the way down underneath their head. So here he goes. Night night. Yeah, that was a stud. What do you have, Stephanie? Oh, oh. Is that a gag? Big scam? Woo hoo! Nice. Good job, guys. Nice. That awesome. is a nice scamp right there. Woo! Yeah, Look at that. That is a beautiful is scamp. Oh, For my first day catching, point. Red snapper, some scamp grouper. A lot of firsts today. Been, yeah, a lot of firsts, and it's been successful. This is a beautiful I'm just excited fish. to see what they're gonna taste like. Right? Yeah. So there's definitely more fish in this box that I can guarantee you made it into the video. Cause if so, this probably would have been like an hour long show, but we're about to fill up this cart and you guys are about to see some pretty crazy madness. But like we were saying earlier, a lot of these fish get donated. There's a bunch of us that were in the boat today. We're gonna eat some tonight. I know that John's gonna take a lot of these fish home to Atlanta as well. So they're definitely not going to waste. <sighs> How sweet. You know there's a lot of weight, but it takes both of them. Oh right. yeah. 
People are going crazy over how many fish we caught, man. I'd go crazy too. I go boatloads, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You ain't kidding. I can't say enough good things about today. Oh, it's been amazing. World-class wow. fishery. Mm -hmm. World-class fishing boat. Yep. World-class captain. Everything about it was world-class. Yep. And it was amazing. And this is just a stud of a red snapper. It's crazy. It reminds me so much of a mutton snapper, which we have at home in the Florida Keys. I'm not sure why these fish aren't more abundant over in the Atlantic. But I ain't complaining because we still managed to find them over here in Steen Hatchie. Thanks to Connor. Of course, all of his information is going to be down in the video description below. So you guys want to come here, you want to fish on our old contender, you want to experience some ridiculous bottom fishing. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable here. But I got to tell you, man, I'm so glad that you guys exposed us to a completely unknown fishery to most people. Put my hand out, give you a little handshake there. It's been an amazing time, and the coolest part about all of it is this marina is brand new. Absolutely. Clay, I just want to tell you how much we've enjoyed having you and Stephanie down here to spend the day with us. It's just been epic uh um, every proportion uh, the board shows that we've got a lot no of fish doubt. we're going to feed a lot of people we're so appreciative of that and your support and her support of course um you know you helped us find this uh, beautiful machine as you know <laughs> uh we can't make the fish bite mm -hmm. but we can uh, certainly help people get to the fish and from the fish quickly safely with the best comfort that can that we can and um, it's nice fishing out of a rocket ship, right? It really is. Um, and that was the number one thing I told you when you came to buy the boat. I was like, this thing is a rocket, it's a ship. rocket ship. If you're not catching fish, you're having fun just running in the boat. You absolutely But are. we checked all the boxes today, man. All right, everybody, I kicked Clay and Stephanie off of the camera. Now it's my time to shine, so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna see how this food's actually cooked. Look at all that beautiful fish right there. Snapper. Snapper. There's the snapper. And they're cooking it back there. They're getting it all cooked up for us. And Woo! Doesn't that look good? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm allergic to lemon, but yeah. Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first time we're actually trying red snapper. So what do you think of it? Oh, my God. That is awesome i mean that's awesome dude. that's awesome wow it's hard to beat it man fresh snapper fried guys thank you so much once again it was an absolute pleasure we'll thank be you. back yeah we'll be back in see awesome. yeah can't wait yeah can't wait let's do it again yeah all right <laughs> yeah. thank see you guys, you guys. Next week bye